Hello. We are starting this workshop. Uh, we'll wait a few seconds if someone else is going to join us. My name is Kamen and I will show you what's new in the new version of Subtitle Next in this session. Uh, feel free to interrupt me, ask questions anytime, write in the chat. So we can bring this also to discussion if something is not clear or if, if you have some other questions. We can end uh, with answers at the end of the session. I hope you are seeing my uh, screen now. <coughs> I hope yes. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I hope uh, everybody are familiar with uh, what subtitle next is. Uh, so I will, I will jump uh, right to what's new in the newest version. So that the first there are some new things available in the user interface. For example, now you can see that uh, you can see information about every subtitle in the in the list, about the uh, line uh, lengths, uh, reading speeds, and so on. You can regulate what uh, things you want to to be shown uh, in the, by the view menu. So, for example, if you don't uh, want character counters to be shown, you can uh, exclude them. If you don't want uh, information to be shown in all subtitles, but just in the current one, you can select uh, this option, uh, character counters in all titles. And if you don't want to see any info at all, you can ex um, disable view, uh, you can disable view totals. So, else if you want the full information on all subtitles you can simply enable uh, this option to uh, see in all possible uh, subtitles uh, another thing a uh, lot of users like to see video separately and not edit subtitles on top of it it was possible before of course but now we have a default layout uh, with preview included so one can quickly switch to such uh, a scenario. So preview window is shown on the left. And you can simply edit uh, subtitles in the, not over the video. Of course you can do both <laughs> if you like. Uh, but for those who don't uh, want uh, uh, to see video where they are, they are edit subtitles, uh, they can observe them in separate preview. And the new thing is that they can show the information about the reading speed, line lengths, and so on inside the preview window itself. <coughs> and of course, you can choose whether to view this information or not. So, for example, you can disable viewing the information, uh, counters, or even whether you want to uh, view or not safe area of uh, the window. <coughs> so those are uh, some new things related to uh, character counters and other information. <coughs> uh, if you have some questions, of course, as I said, feel free to to ask anytime. <coughs> uh, another improvements are in the um, audio timeline, in the timeline. So um, there are a new pop-up menu there. There are a lot of people who like to use mouse instead uh, shortcuts. So that's why we are thinking also about uh, those, uh, those people. So now when you click uh, with the right mouse button over the subtitle, um, a pop-up menu appears with the most common comments related to subtitle. So for example, if I click in particular uh, 
time and I want to split the uh, subtitle there I can use directly a command to do to do so or I can choose some other uh, commands to uh, execute commands to the selected uh, subtitle if I like <coughs> so most of uh, the commands are available in uh, this pop-up window else if you click outside of uh, subtitle the previous common menu is shown there with uh, the things you like to to observe to execute another thing related to uh, timeline uh, until now the default behavior when you play the video is that the audio is uh, dynamic dynamically uh, scrolled with the current position shown on center uh, some users like this to be not dynamic so you can switch now to a static uh, waveform so this is done through options preferences media and here you can exclude in, um, exclude dynamic uh, waveform and it will switch to a static one so when uh, when it is in static you can see that uh, the current position just will go to the end and will jump and scroll the full screen uh, at once so this is like uh, what is available in some other programs in this mode if you click at the end of uh, the window it will scroll to the next screen if you click in the mm, beginning of the window it will scroll, scroll to the previous uh, screen of course in both mode you can still hold your mouse and scroll uh, through the whole waveform uh, dynamically so this is another new thing available of course I like better the dynamic waveform <laughs> so I will leave mine in this uh, uh, situation so another new thing is uh, related to batch processing uh, available so in batch process in batch uh, conversions uh, there is a new uh, option translate from audio of course uh, you uh, currently we are using uh, Microsoft engine for this so you need to have an account uh, uh, Microsoft account to be connected to subtitle next you do it in uh, preferences translate from audio where you can add uh, of course when there are other engines uh, capable of such uh, behavior they will be available here but here you can configure and connect your account with uh, its uh, API key and all the settings needed uh, to, to be used for translation multiple accounts or uh, options can be added here if you have a custom model for different languages multiple custom models you can create multiple um, presets with those different models to be used this way you can choose what is the best suited to the material you use to be automat automatically translated so when uh, you have this uh, option configured in um, batch conversions menu you can uh, create one or more uh, um, entries of conversion automatic tra tra translate from audio here you can add uh, one or more uh, video files or audio files or both so both uh, videos and audio only files are supported uh, we repeat that uh, Splat on X supports not only video media but uh, also audio only media so you can use it for uh, such projects also so you can add here multiple uh, video files or audio files you can select what is uh, your preset if your preset uh, has uh, allows multiple uh, languages uh, to be selected you can select what is the language of the material 
And here you can select uh, one or more languages to translate your uh, materials to. Uh, so, for example, here I have selected to have German, French, let's say Italian. And now I can start my mm, so either uh, execute all or ex execute uh, one by one uh, the I have now selected a short uh, video just to have the results uh, shortly uh, so what we will end up uh, currently I have selected uh, three languages to have translation to and uh, I will end up with uh, four subtitle files. Uh, one uh, will be the transcription of the mm, video and three additionally for each uh, of the languages to which I have uh, translated the material. Uh, the result of uh, this translation is kept in the mm, um, simple project file. So, if you double click it, I will not save my previous subtitles, it will open all of the mm, resulted files uh, together with the video from which uh, those files are resulted. Uh, so, here you see I have the <coughs> original English. This is the transcript of the video. I have uh, German uh, translation, I have uh, French translation, and I have uh, Italian translation. <coughs> so this way you can start working uh, and uh, improving your subtitles directly with the uh, nice uh, times and uh, the translation as with the quality as it is available in the engine or if you have a custom trained model it will probably be better uh, it will have better results uh, this way and uh, each uh, subtitles you see are actually spl uh, split to subtitles and timed uh, each independently this way you have the most uh, proper separation of the text to subtitles following some analysis of uh, how the subtitles should be split to keep sentences and spread the text uh, nicely so we will start from uh, the best uh, it can be initially uh, to start editing your uh, subtitles uh, this way. <coughs> Another uh, improvement in the batch processing uh, is related to subtitling conversion. So now when you select, when you want to do subtitle conversions, of course you can select multiple files to be automatically converted uh, you can select to which format uh, you want to convert it so let's say maybe hmm, file you can set some options uh, about the conversion related to a specific formats so different formats may have such options or may not have so if, it, if they are not needed you can select uh, which subtitle profile to be assigned if you have more than one uh, to this conversion and another good thing is that you can uh, do automatic fixing of uh, errors they will be according to your uh, subtitling rules uh, default subtitling rules which are used so this way uh, when the subtitles are converted mm -hmm. uh, first they will be uh, fixed automatically fixed with uh, according the, to the rules and the resulting file will be saved with the options you want uh, to be applied to uh, those subtitle files so you can 
Of course, I will not start this uh, now, but you see what's the purpose of uh, this conversion. So those who work with uh, a lot of subtitling files, you need to uh, convert them at once to something else. They can use this with all the options and automatic fixing if uh, it is needed. <coughs> So there they are also some other um, improvements in the UI. Let's say here you can always see what is the um, profile of uh, the file you, you, you're working on. And if you click it, you can directly go and select some other files, profile if uh, needed. So this way you can um, uh, observe what exactly profile you are uh, working with. <coughs> uh, duration of the video is shown previously. You had to just go to the end to see how long is the video. Now you can clearly see it inside the controls. Okay, so this is like uh, a common things related to um, related to normal editing for those who are using Subtitle Next for uh, live production. There are also new things related to uh, live subtitling. Let uh, let use these uh, subtitles which are ready but I will clear the times just to show you what I mean and now I will switch to a live mode so to see what uh, what is this when I switch to live mode <coughs> it switches also to what I have configured as a uh, live video signal. Currently I have some public uh, stream uh, for those who are not aware uh, of this functionality. So Titan X can receive um, both streams and um, of any kind or uh, video signals or web camera or whatever other video sources are available in the world. Everything can be used as a live source uh, signal. So the new things are that, uh, uh, as you saw, I started with uh, subtitles without times. It means initially prepared text, and now I can I can mix now to work both with this prepared text. Uh, before it was not possible to to edit those prepared text. Now you can uh, go to any subtitle you like. Uh, you can do some uh, editing if uh, needed and uh, of course you can choose to air uh, any subtitle uh, you like so it will go on air before it was not possible to uh, go and edit any subtitle now you can do it uh, right here and of course you can still have automatic transcription so now I have uh, configured this to go to, uh, text to come from my microphone, so it will just uh, detect uh, and uh, convert my speech to, to text, so it can continue to uh, receive dictation, of course, but uh, even if it continues uh, receive dictation, I can still go and uh, air some other uh, ready subtitle and uh, continue to use dictation, of course. <coughs> so those are like uh, new things available in uh, live production. And uh, the last uh, major thing which is uh, available in uh, 
this new version of uh, subtitle next if you are using uh, wife manager for those who are not uh, familiar wife manager is a separate application which can run on another workstation uh, this way one or more subtitle next workstation may connect uh, to it and use it to um, put subtitles on air in uh, whatever you have configured uh, your subtitles to go to so you can air to zoom so as, as you see in parallel i can select uh, more than one uh, zoom meeting or uh, i can have like uh, youtube uh, stream or teletext or uh, dv subtitles or uh, video signal and uh, a lot more so here you can configure more than one uh, destination of your subtitles to go to and we'll, you can select which uh, ones are uh, currently active uh, and if you configure subtitle next uh, to, to use uh, this uh, wife manager you can uh, configure where is the wife manager uh, in if it is on another machine and from subtitle next you can actually directly select which uh, output currently will be used there is also option to automatically prompt you when you uh, put subtitle next on air uh, which outputs to, to go through so let's show here on air indicator currently I'm not on air if I decide to go on air it means to output subtitles, subtitle next will prompt me if uh, what uh, out of the configured outputs I like uh, to use. So this way uh, subtitles will be output directly to um, life manager and uh, selected output of course. <coughs> so this is the uh, another thing available in uh, combination subtitle next and uh, life manager <coughs> so those are like uh, I, I, I think I am not forgetting forgetting anything else probably there are a lot more small things here and there which uh, are improved and uh, have new things but the major ones <coughs> are uh, those so if you have some questions let me see if there are some in the chat <coughs> uh, okay uh, feel free also to unmute your uh, mic uh, you can ask me in voice or if you have questions you can write them in in the chat I assume there are no uh, questions and uh, probably we can go to uh, conclusion of this uh, this session <laughs> Thanks, Monica. In the chat, uh, Monica wrote that uh, it's incredible. I'm, I'm just uh, reading what she, she wrote. It's incredible how you can keep improving what is already the best software in the world. The, thanks very much, Monica. <laughs> we also think so, and we're trying to, to improve it even more, to uh, 
make everybody uh, happy and uh, use it in the best way they think uh, they can. So we are very open to any suggestions and uh, wishes in this way to, to improve it more and more and keep up with the uh, new trends and new uh, demands in the business. <laughs> Okay, very nice words, Monica, thank you. <laughs> so, let's uh, go to uh, end of uh, this meeting. Uh, we, we are waiting also to, for some opinions of uh, other topics. We can make uh, workshops which are related to specific topics to make it more collaborative, like to everybody to by making something which is uh, common, so to be really like a workshop where everybody uh, do one and the same, to feel the things, uh, how things are working, and uh, this way to enjoy <laughs> using this software. Uh, the, in the chat, Monica says that some of the teams do not work well with the waveforms, but uh, if you know, you can actually change the colors of the waveforms so to, to match your other wishes, so you can do this in preferences. Uh, colors. Let me find it. And here as you see, you can change the wave color, uh, spectrum color, so this way you can match uh, what you want to, to use <laughs> in the waveform. <laughs> so if you didn't knew this, uh, just go here and change the color to whatever else you like. So I like, uh, just have to go to, to a video. So you see, custom color in the waveform. <laughs> so now you can select your favorite color, <laughs> not related to a team. <laughs> mm. Okay. So. If there is nothing else uh, you want me to show, we can go to the end of this uh, session. And I can wish you all the all the best and um, happy working with the software with Subtitle Next. <laughs> um, have a nice day, nice uh, weekend after that, and all the best from our team. See you soon. Bye-bye.